As from the thumbnail, you guys could have probably guessed that I'm going to be talking about the prizes for this arena season and some new updates. Right, so this is your host, Run Dr. Genius, and let's get on straight to that. Items from the arena which were legendary, images of the Storm Titan. So, the first thing, let's talk about the arena. The arena images, how did we get those? Well, it seems, well, first of all, um, someone on the Prodigy community found it, and their username is username taken 999 I believe. And so, they got a Prodigy ad which had the arena items in it displayed, all equipped. So let's just quickly take a look at some of these screenshots they posted from this ad. So over here what you guys can see is that well we have our first image. Obviously you guys can see this is on YouTube, you can see it's a video player and they have the arena items equipped. And well what do you guys see over here? It seems like they have all of the armor from the arena, they got themselves the... Alright so if you look at this image over here you can see we have ourselves the pinwheel, the dual blade and the tech hammer. So it seems like that we've already figured out the names of the things. It seems like that the first thing is going to be pinwheel or something around that time. The other one is going to be the dual blade. So I'm assuming that this golden armor is going to be around dual and then we have a tech hammer. But that's not the thing which I'm here for. You guys can see we have ourselves a dual blade and it is yellow. And if you guys do not know what yellow means. Yellow means legendary, and what does legendary mean? It means that this is going to be the highest damaging and healing item in the game, right? It is legendary, it is the highest, it's basically a legendary item. Now, what's so special about a legendary item? Well, the first thing, only a few people have the very first legendary item in Prodigy. The legendary item was the Trial Master set, so I'm assuming that this might be a replacement for it because so many people have hacked into Trial Master set that it is kind of useless. So in this case, the arena was made in such a way that hackers cannot play in it whatsoever. Like, I'm pretty sure that if you hack, you aren't able to play in the arena as well as other people. So as you can see over here, this is a legendary item and next to it we have our tech hammer. Now the tech hammer is purple which means it's heroic which means it might have a damage bonus of 15 or maybe 15 or maybe 20. Yeah, I think no, it would probably have a damage bonus of 20. Um, the gold, the golden one would have a damage bonus of 25 and the pinwheel I think that might have a damage bonus of maybe 10. I don't know but from the first image you can see that it is already legendary. Alright, so let's just go to the next Alright, now over here you guys can see this is the next page. Over here it seems like we have ourselves the Celestial Armor, the Cybernetic Armor, and the Groovy Outfit. So you guys can see this all around one thing. It seems like that the armor is Celestial Armor now. Uh, it just... I uh, oh, what, wait, armor? Okay. So you guys can tell this is also legendary, which means it will have a healing of 25. Now 25 isn't too much, well 25 is 5 more than the highest healing which you can get in game. So if you just had approximately 3 of these on, you'd have a healing of 75, which would be more than, well, everything. Which would be more than, well, okay so, yeah you would have a healing of 75, which would be approximately 15 more than what other wizards would have. And then next to you can see we have the cybernetic armor and the groovy armor. So all of the armor over here, you guys can see, this is what it looks like. And if you guys ask me, the wizard actually does look pretty nice. Now let's move on to the next image. And over here you can see, it seems like we have ourselves the groovy bandana, the cybernetic mask, and the celestial helmet. Alright, so it seems like that the helmet and armor of the legendary of the legendary type is all named after Celestial and I believe that the wand is the only thing named after the dual wand. Although I believe they'll change that name. And in the Celestial this is kind of reminding me of something a uh, very lot. It has a striking resemblance to something I remember. Anyways you guys can see that well it follows the same thing and for some reason they also have the cavern headpiece. I guess they accidentally put that in. But you can see this is what it looks like and just by guessing I'm guessing it's like this. Now, I do believe that since it's 180 days in order to get this, it's actually not going to be hard, and Prodigy might lower its ranking, like maybe change it to purple or one down. But this, needless to say, does require a lot of effort to do. So, I'm not too certain about, these, uh, about the position of this armor being in the gold or legendary tier, but I do believe it may drop down to heroic, or, well, they might create another tier for it. You know, arena art items having their own tier would be quite pretty cool. <laughs> okay, this, these things over here, amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, it's that everything else has a heart. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh my God, everything! Oh my! All right, guys, this is totally not being taken after I screwed up everything beforehand. 
but you guys can see over here all right guys so when we open up the first image you guys can see that well first of all we have a golden item what does a golden item mean that means it's a legendary item what does a legendary item mean it means i'm well, you know what, I'm just gonna keep that in the video, so you guys can see my absolute confusion after reading this. Alright guys, so, here's a little split. This is editing when Dr. Genius looking back at this, and I'm like, I just read the comments in this, and I'm like, oh my god, no. So, what it turns out that the armor does a heart bonus of 10, actually the highest one does a heart bonus of 8, which is Myra's Dragon Fang, um, the e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e Gear. So you guys can tell those gears do a hard bonus of 8, so I was wrong when I'm saying 25 because you guys are probably like, what? What are you even talking about? It seems like I was still talking about wands there. But what happens is that even if other wizards have the best armor, what will happen is they'll have approximately, what, 24 total pieces? On the other hand, you'll have 30, which means you'll still get 6 additional heart bonuses compared to them. So it's still going to be pretty good. Anyways, back to what I said you guys can see. That this follows the rest of the armor, everything else over here is cool, although I'm not so certain about its legendary status. Now the next thing which I wanted to talk about is the Titan. Now over here you can see thanks to Rudy W99, we have ourselves an image of the Titan. Not just any type of Titan, we have ourselves the Electric Titan! And... What is that? It look... What is this face? So over here you can see we seem to have ourselves the first image of the Electric Titan in Prodigy. It seems like that uh, level 45 Titan has 7,775 health, which is a really long number to say. But as you can see, it seems like it does. It looks like a Titan. Of course, its body is going to be silver because, you know, it's electric. And of course, they're going to have black, yellow, and brown clouds. Wait, no, not yellow. That's not natural. They're going to have black, brown, and clouds. And yeah, you guys can see this is what the electric Titan looks like. Ah uh, yes, so over here you can see this is what the new Storm Titan looks like. And we basically got ourselves the first preview of it, which means that it's already been added in-game probably and is, well, once again undergoing beta testing. I wonder how many different things Prodigy is beta testing. The Titan looks like... <laughs> I'll read this comment, the Titan looks like a clown. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah guys, I think that's all of the Prodigy news which I have in this video. I couldn't find anything more, so I hope you guys found this video informational and entertaining. And if you guys did, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I will be catching y'all next time when Dr. Genius out of the house. Bye, and have a good time. Bye!